And that's what we've seen, a lot of tornadoes on top of the hurricane right. that is spinning across the state right now, right, Ivan? Yeah, this is probably what happened back in 92 with Hurricane Andrew. We just mm -hmm. didn't have the technology to be able to see and warn all the tornadoes here. But some uh, you know, hurricanes are have a, you know, will have a history like this one of producing so many. And these weren't you know, tropical tornadoes that can drop down and uh, do a little uh, minor damage here. We were tracking wedge tornadoes, Oklahoma City kind of tornadoes here. So it'll remain to be seen. Remember the damage scale? That Fujita scale we talk about, Weather Service, when it's safe to do so, they'll be out there and they'll take a look at the damage and see, well, what kind of wind did this? Uh, so we'll know more with these uh, reports the next few days. But let's get to the story here because it's still underway. 105 mile an hour winds, still a category two. That's the 11 p.m. advisory. Sometimes we get it a little bit early, and there you have it at 1050 coming in from the National Hurricane Center. It's just a matter at this point of what we're going to be doing, which is tracking the hour by hour, the minute by minute, really storm as it continues to push in over the next uh, few hours. So this is what we have set up here as uh, we continue with the spin coming in. We have flash flood emergencies that are underway. Tampa beginning to see a little bit better now as far as the radar returns here. So those deeper reds pushing into the east. But you know, damage is done. They picked up several inches of accumulation. It's this uh, flash flood emergency typically is for just a small area. I have never seen a flash flood emergency extend uh, for a good 100 miles like that, 50, 100 miles eventually into Orlando and Melbourne. So that's the setup they have underway with an extreme rainfall tally there that's going to be coming in. Now, there are the rainfall totals as we head through what tonight. Uh, each model run will have kind of a different idea, but you just get the general trend here that we're going to be looking uh, at some areas that will likely hit the double digits here as far as rainfall totals as that hurricane continues to move off to the north and the east. So we got the new advisory from the uh, uh, hurricane center and that means that as it goes through just to the south of Orlando Melbourne the uh, Merritt Island there that is going to continue to be a category one hurricane Thursday morning with 80 mile an hour winds so for us again the impacts will be minimal here we're going to have some gusty winds certainly throughout the day uh, tomorrow we'll have gusty winds tonight but the tornadic threat for us is over the flood watch and the flood threat for us is over so we're beginning to improve as uh, conditions do the opposite here across central Florida